Let's head over to the Master Craft Kitchen where our Master Chef Tim Reed's cooking up couscous and Italian baked chicken. How are you today? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? You good? You a fan of Duran Duran? Uh, but pre me, actually. Oh, oh whatever! <laughs> <laughs> whatever! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for telling yes, us that. Well, yeah, well, moving making? right along, uh, I'm doing some Italian chicken today uh, with a little bit of a Sicilian twist, but first and foremost I've got to get onto my bed of couscous. Uh, so couscous is basically the easiest thing you ever make in your life. We're doing a cup and a half of couscous here, we'll whack it in the pot. We've got exactly the same amount, a cup and a half of chicken stock. And we're just going to flavour it with some lemon rind. And basically we're just going to be bringing that up to the boil and, uh, and then letting it do its thing, sit there for 10 minutes and she'll be cooked. Now this recipe is, uh, has got quite a few ingredients but it's honestly the easiest dish you'll cook all week. Let's talk succulent chicken. I'm in the Mastercraft kitchen with Tim and we are doing a traditional Italian dish. Yeah, yeah, with a little bit of Sicilian North African influence in there as well. Nice, okay, so what ingredients do we need for this? Let's go through them. Well, it's pretty simple. We just need some chicken thighs. They're um, boneless, skinless there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some prunes yep. just to keep us flowing. <laughs> uh, and we've got some green olives, capers, Brown sugar, now that looks like a lot of sugar, but we've got a lot of kind of acid going on in here, so we actually need that to balance it out. Okay. Uh, some parsley, oregano, bay leaves, garlic, and, uh, and a little bit of olive oil. And honestly, everything just gets thrown in here. We chuck it in the oven for an hour, we come back and we eat it. And why are you using chicken thighs? Uh, chicken thighs have a higher uh, amount of fat around them, and right. they're also a darker meat. Traditionally, darker meats take a lot longer to dry out, and so if you're roasting and things like that, something like a breast, which is whiter meat, uh, can, can dry, dry out pretty quick. So that's going to give us a nice, moist, beautiful, succulent chicken. That's it. <laughs> well, here's hoping. Oh, here's hoping. OK, yeah. cool. Well, let's crack into it. All right, so we're literally just... You don't need to be too fancy about this. Okay, so we're not be... lining the dish with anything. No. We're just going to let the chicken do that. Yeah, and then we're going to pour all the goodies over the top. Okay, nice. So this is something you could probably do pretty fast at home too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's honestly this easy. Uh, these are parsley, this is parsley and oregano, and I'm throwing the stalks in too. Right. Uh, stalks have a higher amount of flavour in them, so if you, you can get away with it with something like this, rosemary and thyme is a lot more woody. Okay. Uh, and so you're going to get kind of the woody textures, which you don't really want, but the, the, uh, the softer herbs, you can throw it all in. Capers nice work. and their juice. So that's and their juice. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. the vinegar hit, the sharpness. Yep. Uh, some green olives. Okay. You don't have. Do you have to put olives in? I hate olives. Don't you? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. All right. No, we, but no, I mean, you I, don't. You don't you have don't. to make it just for me, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're throwing them in today, but no, you don't. Yeah. Okay. All of this kind of stuff is is interchangeable. Okay. Nice. You do want something like prunes. You can use dates if you like, because right. um, you need that sweetness in there, that real hearty, fruity sweetness that you get from uh, from dried fruit. So we'll whack them in there. As you can see, there's nothing too fancy about this. This mm -hmm. is some olive oil. About a quarter of a cup. Nice work. quarter of a cup of white wine. You quarter can use red wine, wine if you want. Okay. Whatever wine's in the fridge or, well, red wine shouldn't be in the fridge, but you know what I mean. Yep. Um, and then uh, and then some brown sugar. Well, that's gone a bit crusty, isn't it? Okay. But so we'll sprinkle that over the top. That's right. Just chuck it all in. Yeah. It's all good. She'll be right. Come back in an hour and uh, and it's honestly, it's that easy. Okay. Well, this was nice and quick. And you know how I said I don't like olives. I guess sometimes oh. when you've got all these ingredients mixed together, could be a way that I yeah. actually do enjoy the yep. olives. Yeah. It'll so get all the flavours of everything else. Um, I did forget the garlic, which is just going to get floated in there. Because right, we've got big clumps of garlic there. And we should matter. probably season it. Yeah. Always season. Yeah. Okay, well this is pretty simple, pepper. isn't it? Yeah. Which is great. And then that's getting whacked in the oven for an hour. Okay, sweet. All right. So we're going to put that in and we're going to come back and we'll see the finished results soon. But before you go any further, uh, let's just touch on the couscous because you yes. need to finish that off. Now yeah, something, if you just joined us, something he did was he used chicken stock in the couscous. So that really helps give it some flavour. Yeah. Because yep. it can be quite boring couscous. Totally. If you're using just fresh water or something like that, I mean it's nice and healthy. Yeah. Um, but you're not going to get a huge amount amount of flavour in there. So I did, I added some chicken stock and some of the lemon rind uh, and a little bit of salt and pepper which right. again just brings out flavour. So you could use any stock you wanted depending on the dish that you're serving. Totally. Some flavour. And hard spices, things like star anise and cinnamon and things like that uh, work really well with couscous. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Really looking forward to seeing how this all turns out. We'll come back into the Mastercraft kitchen very soon with Tim. How are you going there, Tim? Yeah, good. All done. Nice. It's, it's looking great. Uh, so what we did is we covered this with tin foil. 
and we roasted it for about an hour and that mm. makes the chicken nice Ooh. and soft and succulent. Yum. Took it off for about 10 minutes and that's just made this chicken nice and golden and look at all those veggies, uh, the olives, the dates, uh, sorry, prunes and they're all caramelised and, uh, and this is just how we want it. So, nice. uh, to dish up, again, we don't have to worry too much about plate. How can you plate properly with couscous anyway? I Did don't... you win yeah. skills on MasterChef for your presentation? Um, <laughs> not often. Not often. <laughs> if I'm just, honest. Just a question. Just a question. <laughs> yeah. How does it taste good? All right. Well, next week I'll work on my presentation. Just for you, Mel. Oh, I love right. it. It tastes delicious anyway. <laughs> yes, um, Mel likes it when you do a bit of prep. At home <laughs> <laughs> on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So what I've done, just whacked on a couple of pieces of chicken. We'll get some of that lovely juice, pour it over the couscous, oh, some of that goodies. Yeah. All right. And I'll get us some knives and forks. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, nice. And I love the decent portion sizes that you do. You do a good portion. <laughs> yes, you do. I think it comes from, you know, the boy sizes, That's right? That's right. Yeah. Like boy I size. eat like yeah. boy size. Nice Here work. We go. Okay, well this looks incredible. Can't wait to try it. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I'm doing Spanish baked eggs. Yeah.